But no, look at that autopilot still not wanting to work. Pulled it down to 18 miles an hour. It's gonna make it. No, the lines do kind of go. Yeah, it's aborting. It's right in the middle of the road. Okay, what does it do when it sees the line? Is it gonna flick us over to the left? No, it's pulling us to the right. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing really well. Today we're gonna to be continuing our AP UK city tour with a very interesting city. So this is Wells in Somerset, and this is actually the second smallest city in the UK. Uh, and it's only second to the city of London, believe it or not, for population and area. And that would make it actually third smallest in the UK because I believe St. David's is the smallest city. So this has a population roughly of 12,000 whereas St. David's, the smallest city, has a population of just 2,000. So this is a, a really small city, but definitely still not the smallest. And it's only a city, of course, because it has the Wells Cathedral, which hopefully we're gonna drive by. So like I said, this is a tiny, tiny place, which means this video is gonna be quite short, and I've actually started pretty far out of Wells um, to begin with, just so that we could get a little bit more content around Wells. Now, I've never actually been here, so I don't know the roads, but I'm uh, hoping that it's gonna be good. And we're just gonna follow the sat-nav and then we're gonna reroute the sat-nav. I have got my partner Holly in the car with me today because after this, we're going to the spa. So yeah, she might scream and scream if something seems dangerous. So again, I'm obviously gonna have to reduce the speed myself because the car isn't reading these signs, which I've only just learned is due to the reason Mobile Eye in the AP1 hardware, which was the video I uploaded yesterday, apparently that has actually patented the uh, technology for that. And that means that the Tesla AP2, 2.5, and 3 can't do it, which is a little bit strange. I need to look into to it a little bit more. And if you know any more details, do let me know down below in the comment section. So again, we're going into a 30. I'm just gonna show you what it does here. It's still a 40 on here. Now it's a 30, and now it starts bringing us down, uh, which obviously isn't great because we wanted it to, uh, to be going down way, way before. So we're coming up to our first roundabout, and we're gonna go straight over it. I appreciate that the sat nav says not to, but otherwise I think that's taken. Oh, okay, that guy went the other way. Let's go through here. So this is Wells, and as you can see, it's not a big place. Let's go 30, shall we, around it. Wow, that's cool, that's really cool. But the roads seem pretty quiet, which is good. It is a Sunday, so I think most people probably are away. And we're just gonna drive around the outside of Wells first, and then we're gonna kind of cut back in and go through the middle, unless we're going, okay, we're going right. We're gonna go right first, we're just gonna let it go, and as you can see, it's not gonna stop, so I have to brake last second, because it's not gonna stop, which is a little bit of a shame. Sorry, Holly, I should have explained. Holly's never watched one of our city tour videos, so I think she's a bit surprised about what we're doing, but you'll get used to it, it is good fun. Straight ahead of us there is the Wells Cathedral that I spoke about, just trying to see, there we go, autopilot. No, it doesn't want to turn on, but to be honest, it would have stopped behind this golf here probably anyway. Let's see, is it gonna to want to turn on at all down here? It can see lines. Oh, it did for a split second, but then it stopped again. I'm just gonna keep on going forward. My God, this is a confusing city. I have no idea. So this is a one way in front of us and we're gonna go down that one way road. Okay. Autopilot doesn't want to turn on just yet. I'm actually going to turn off the sat nav because it's not much use to me when I have no idea really where I'm going. Okay, so this is a 20 down here, but as you can see, the car still thinks it's a 30. And this is actually a one way, so this could be quite interesting. Is Autopilot going to work? No, Autopilot doesn't want to work, even though there's actually really good lines down here. And it's very clear. So is it going to work here? No, it's saying that there's parking spaces. The cathedral's obviously on our left there, looking beautiful. But no, look at that autopilot, still not wanting to work, still not want, no, not gonna work down here at all, which is very interesting. Okay, now we've got um, a no entry, so we've gotta now go left. I am so confused. And is it gonna work down here? Come on, autopilot. Look at that, it's just not showing up. It is just not showing up down here at all and not wanting to work. That is the first time I've ever had it where it's just not wanted to work on a very clear and visible route. Okay, let's come out of here then. Again, I don't really know where I'm going, so I'm just gonna like, kind of go this way. Let's see, is autopilot gonna work now? What is going on? There we go, okay, now it wants to work. So there's people there in the cycle lane, which shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna bring it all the way down to 18 for this corner. Is it gonna be able to do it? Probably not, but let's see. It's, nope, it was trying to take us there over to the other side of the road. 
Uh, let's go in this left lane and go straight on because we've just come from over there. Uh, we'll just let this Peugeot go and try that again. So that was a way too tight a corner for it. Even going down to 20 miles an hour, it just wasn't happy to do it. And as this is a very, very small city, I think there's just lots and lots of these kind of little areas where you go and you've got to stop and it's really not good for autopilot. And I, I don't think we ever thought this was going to be good for autopilot. And I don't know why. I don't know if you can see, but my maps isn't loading at all for some reason here either. Okay, can it do this right-hand turn? I've pulled it down to 18 miles an hour. It's going to make it. No, didn't make it at all. Just went straight forward. And apparently there's someone in the back seat. That's creepy. There we go. It was just my bag. Okay, back onto a straight road. And again, it's fine, it's fine down here, but... There's not really too much else around here I can go. That that was the middle of the city. That was the whole city, by the way, everybody. So let's go do the ring road, shall we? Um, and see see where the ring road takes us. Because I don't think it's ever going to work through, through that city center there. I mean, it was a one-way system, and I would have honestly expected it to have worked down there, but it just didn't want to turn on. And I don't know if that's maybe something in a new update, but... It didn't work well at all because of it, which is a shame. Okay, so we're gonna go around the ring road now. What I'll do is I'll put in actually the navigation center parks because that's where, where we're going. So I'll put that in and we'll start just driving that way out of the city. Again, this is gonna take us into the right-hand lane and obviously we don't wanna do that this time. We wanna go into this middle lane. So I'll have to take control and get into this lane. Okay. Oh, okay, so some, for some reason again, the satellite navigation on ours has said no route found to this location what but it's working on here but i don't know if my car's bugging this morning i only got it back from the service center yesterday so i don't know if they've done something to it but it feels really weird okay is it going to pick the right hand lane yes it has done good job but obviously it's not going to break for us so we're going to have to slow it down and come to another stop again it's all the stop starting because there's so many junctions and stuff in a small city like this, that it does get a little bit tough. Okay, right, to 25 miles an hour. Let's see how it deals with this. So we're just gonna follow this road round. The lines do kind of go, yeah, it's aborting, it's right in the middle of the road. It, it's just freaking out and it's coming to a complete stop. There's no one around us. Uh, so obviously that wasn't a problem to do, but it's really annoying. It's not worked well so far in the city today. <laughs> And I've just realized this is just to go to a car park. The roads here are very, very strange. And that's coming from someone that lives in the UK. Okay, so we're going to flick over here probably to the right a bit. Oh, no, it's gone. Yeah, nicely in the middle. I still don't know why the sat-nav's not working, though. I need to try this again. Very strange. Uh, I'll just put in long leap. There we go. Let's see if it'll bring up long leap. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's working now. So let's follow that route just for a few minutes then, because so far this has been pretty shocking in, in this city. Again, it's not going to change lanes for us here, so we're going to have to change lanes and go behind this Citroen. Okay, right, we're going back into the city. Oh, God. And we're going back into the 20 zone. Come on. All right, Autopilot wants to work this time. Let's give it a whirl. It's getting close to these cars. Yeah, way too close. I just had to pull over. Holly just put a hand over her mouth and went <laughs> like that. So I had to obviously stop that. And coming up slowly behind this car to the roundabout. It is slowing down, but obviously because this is such a tight roundabout, it's never going to think about doing that. And again, it's a 20 zone here. Well, it's 30 now, but it was 20, but it still said 30 on here throughout the whole thing. I'm actually going to stay down 20 through here, just in case something interesting comes. Well, we're going to miss the middle line here as this van comes around the corner, so that hopefully will keep the car on the left-hand side, which it has done. And yeah, it's following this nicely. Now we've got a really, really tight bend here. Going to bring it down to 80 miles an hour. There's no one coming around the bend. It just goes straight. Now, it's never done that before. Even in like the older updates and previously, it always attempts the corner, but at the moment... It's just going straight over and I don't quite know why. Oh, wow. Again, had a little bit of a hiccup there and started to actually turn into the van as it came around the corner. Okay, autopilot back on. It's a... Yeah, it's not It's not doing it today. I'm not sure what it's doing today, but it is not doing it. 
Okay, come on. Let's just get a little successful run in the city. It's pushing us into the middle of the road here. And now it's using the bus stop line to pull us back over. You see that as the bus stop line came in, it used that. And then it pulls us back again slightly into the middle. And then I'm assuming it's going to use these... Yeah, look at that right in the middle here. And this car is coming down as well. Well, that's interesting because we're not both going to fit, are we? Let's go down. All right, we're going to put it back on. Is it going to work? No, it's now not wanting to come back on. So again, it seems to be trying to pull us over to the middle or the right-hand side of the road. There we go. But of course, because our roads are shocking and stupidly designed with cars parked on the road, we're just going to sit behind this van here. But not too much of a problem because obviously there is a car there. And if I indicate, yeah, nothing happens. We would just be sat there for days. All right, these look a little bit better rows now. Okay, here we go. So we're autopiloting around. We've got cars coming onto our side of the road. So I had to take off. Autopilot didn't seem to want to slow down there for other cars on our side of the road, which is interesting. I would have hoped it would do. Um, this guy's creeping onto our side of the road. But it didn't seem to have a problem with it yesterday. Actually, um, Dole, yesterday we had a problem, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Where we were driving from Trowbridge to Melksham and someone came over to our side of the road to overtake and didn't stop. An autopilot swung out the way and slammed on very hard, didn't it? Yeah. And actually worked. And it's not going to go around this car. And it actually worked, didn't it? Yeah. And it caught us by surprise because that is a problem here. People seem to think that they can just kind of come over to our side of the road. Um, and sadly, that's not quite the case. Now, is the car going to stop? Yeah, it's going to stop for this. Sadly, it's not going to figure out that it just needs that little bit of space. Don't know why I indicated there. Right, let's put autopilot back on. And that's us coming out of Wells now. So the city of Wells, yeah, you've got quite, you, well, to be fair, well, to be fair, I get it. Um, it's going to be a, quite a while until you guys can drive anything autonomous through there, I think. I, I, don't, I can't see anything happening in quite a while through there. Let's go this way. I'm hoping we're going to get on some interesting, like, curvy roads here because we are in Somerset and it has some amazing roads. Don't curb us, don't curb us. Yeah, good job. There we go. Okay, autopilot. Okay, that was a delayed beep, but it took its final... See, that's what I mean. Why did it delay the beep? I feel like the car is buggy or it's not. it's just not working quite right today for some reason. That's no excuse because it should work all the time. Um, but you know what I mean? Like even like the audio being late, it just makes it feel a little bit buggy and a little bit weird. These roads are quite nice and flowing though. A good speed for us to go around these corners at. There's no left line, of course, but there is a fa fairly high curb. So hopefully it will see that. Oh, we've got some really interesting corners coming up here. This is a nice tight corner. Let's see what the car decides to do really nice all the way around and whoa okay i don't again i i never have <laughs> holly's got a hand on her mouth just going and, and yeah i it's on those areas that maybe the camera doesn't pick it up as much it just doesn't seem like it's going to stop sometimes for okay is he coming out yeah um for cars on the road when they're just like a little bit on the road it just doesn't seem like god look how slam that is um it just doesn't sometimes feel like it wants to stop and it is very like, I'm kind of used to it. These roads are literally too thin for the car. I'm, I'm rubbing up against the hedge. Let's see if it's gonna do it. Got cars on the other side of the road. Just don't tuck it in too tight, Tesla. Good job, good job. We are on the line though, but obviously we kind of have to be because of the road. But it's done this bit really well, actually. Okay, this is a really tight corner. Nope. It was not planning on doing that at all. Which is which is crazy, because you can see the Volvo in front doing all these corners with no problems, but when the Tesla tries, it really does struggle. So again here, it's gone into like this kind of more one-way system, but the car puts us right in the middle of the road, and it just, it just doesn't feel natural or comfortable. So I'm gonna bring it over here, because I think Holly's about to cry. With, with scaredness. Is that, is that correct? I did cover my eyes at that last corner. Yeah, it's a bit... And again, it says it wants to work through these, but I just wouldn't trust it through this kind of setup. But again, this is very unique to, to England and to our shocking roads and just like the design of everything. 
it's really going to struggle through these. So that was the city of Wells, everybody. There's really not much to show you there. It's a beautiful place, but there's not much to really drive around. Um, and as you can see, this was potentially the worst autopilot city tour video yet uh, in terms of success rate and stuff. And even coming out actually a little bit to the countryside, um, it's still struggling just because of how tight everything is here. And I've read all your comments and yes, I understand like, you know, you're like, God, you're so close to hitting everybody all the time. But we all drive like this all the time. This is what we're used to. So it may seem fast, it may seem close, but this is what we're used to. And the Tesla needs to be able to do this just as well as everybody else does it. No, it doesn't. It needs to do it 10 times better than everybody else does it, actually, to be totally fair. Now those cars are gone. I just want to see what it does here going into this. God, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. That when it, when it does that, it just makes it feel like it's going to just pull you into the middle of the road and not stop for anybody, which is just crazy. Um, yeah, see that? So there's no one coming, so it's all right, but it's just putting us right in the middle. Granted, there's no space either side. I'm going to pull it down just in case someone comes around here. No. Let's put it in, because we can't see over that. Okay, what does it do when it sees the line? Is it going to flick us over to the left? No, it's pulling us to the right. That's absolutely insane. Oh, no. Okay, Tesla, that needs to be sorted. We can't have it going to the right-hand side of the road where it splits into two again. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, make sure you drive safe and maybe drive a little bit safer than this guy is driving through Wells right now. Until next time, thank you for watching. Make sure to check us out on Patreon. Become a Patreon supporter and help us deliver more and better content. Uh, we want to try and do daily content, but currently we don't have the time and resources to do it. And I want to hire somebody else in to come and help us. So if you become a Patreon supporter, you will be fulfilling that, fulfilling that dream and helping us pursue autonomy, electric, tech, and everything to do with cars and Teslas, of course. Until next time, thank you for watching. Drive safe. Oh, a bridge, Holly. Jesus Christ, slow down! Kill me! Well, I don't have no parents. <laughs> I wasn't going to kill you. Put that in the video. I, I will put that in the video. But that wasn't even close. Like, that was so close. What? The car was coming. The bridge was going into a single lane. You're going wahoo! I wasn't going wahoo. I was going forty. It's a sixty. I was just happily going forty and going around. It. I checked the speed. You were doing fifty. We can check the recording. Thank God, autopilot wasn't doing that bit. So what do you think? No, I did not like it. So it was it scary? I closed I closed my eyes at one point. I put my hand over my eyes so I didn't have to watch. Isn't that more scary? I just thought fuck you were gonna die anyway, I might as well just close my eyes. Oh shit, cyclist. No 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 no. Oh. No, I'm, I'm, that's not me. I'm seeing if autopilot notices them there, and that's really lucky that I was still recording because autopilot was not. And after this new Euro NCAP safety rating that they've just got, oh shit, um, that wasn't even close. I don't know why I said that. Um, that that to me is like, wow, well, they've shown these videos, right? Have you seen the Euro NCAP rating videos? So they've shown these videos of of the Model Three and stuff stopping like like that at forty when it sees a kid out of you know split second. But then in the real world, that's what it did to a bike. It just wasn't stopping. And that to me is where I'm like, you know, I don't know, what's going on? Why, 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 aren't, why isn't that stopping? Or why isn't that noticing the bike? I couldn't see if it was on the screen. So when I look back at the footage, I'll see. But why is that not noticing that bike all the way back there and slowing down? Yeah. That's the problem.